Hey guys, this is Adam Soltis with Ace Soltis Art Creations. Uh, some of you guys have asked me to do a video on a couple of the mods. Uh, I do some Amoeba mods uh, and some other custom mods that you might have seen on the internet, uh, mostly involving some pretty gory stuff. Um, I promised I'd do a couple series of uh, videos for you guys, so if you guys have any questions after seeing this, if you don't absolutely completely hate me uh, after seeing what you're about to see, um, please go ahead, comment, like, um, um, A Saltus Art Creations uh, on Instagram and on Facebook. Soon to have a nice web page and a web comic called Yeah About That. Uh, all that information you'll see soon here on the video. So I want to go ahead and say and apologize in advance. Just let you guys know this is what I do. And um, please try not to hate on me too much. But you're going to see some torture porn on a. Uh, particular figure that uh, everybody is kind of wanting and when this particular figure was announced I instantly had this idea that I wanted to create uh, oh, I don't want to spoil it for you guys until I reveal this beautiful little figure but um, I've had this idea for quite a while and I couldn't wait so the moment I got home I got went ahead and put this video together for you guys um, I do take a little bit of pride in what I'm about to do, um, but like I said, once again, I realize that uh, you guys are going to salt the hell out of me as if I'm a slug invading your garden. So, um, without wasting any more time, I'm going to reveal our person of the hour, minute, however long this video is going to be. It is Mr. Goldwine. Yes. Like I said, you guys are going to absolutely hate me because what I am going to do is I'm going to take this beautiful little tool and I'm going to drill right into his face on video for you guys. You guys might want to go ahead and either turn your eyes away or something because, like I said, I know you guys are probably going to hate me pretty good. Anyway, so the idea for this, um, if any of you has seen House of Wax, um, an old horror movie, a more recent remake, um, there's a scene where you kind of peel away the wax and it reels um, a person's face. It was uh, people that are dipped in wax or made into wax figures. The idea on this one is that uh, Mario has been dipped alive, or dead, I guess he could have been killed, dipped alive in gold. And I wanted a little bit of the face kind of chipped away there, uh, revealing uh, some skeletal structure and some blood. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to recommend is, uh, right up ahead of time, is, uh, you're going to need a Dremel. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not familiar with these pieces, but I've played around with a couple of these, so I kind of know what works best for me. Um, you guys probably could be screaming at me right now, but this is very kind of like a sandy tipped, so I guess, I want to say diamond tipped, uh, if I remember right. Very thin when it gets to spinning it actually kind of melts the plastic um, so you're gonna have to work around a little bit uh, another thing you're gonna need when you're making the skeletal structure or pretty much anything is a uh, milliput is what I use is milliput uh, like molding compound and I use the yellow not the white uh, the yellow tends to uh, dry a lot firmer the white has a a softer appearance even after dry so it doesn't give a, a stone feeling and it's actually like two compounds that you mix together and uh, after a couple hours it dries pretty solid and it's also very smooth and blendable uh, in this case we're not gonna be doing too much blending um, but for other figurines that I've done like for eyebrows it's really good to wet your finger and kind of just blend upwards or use a tool like a rubber um, I want to say they call them paint shapers, but I've used, I've seen them for clay too, and they're just like rubber tips that you can kind of just in, instead of using a finger, uh, just blend into the plastic really well. So it kind of looks like it's natural part of it. You might have seen it with the Jason mod or a couple of the zombie mods like Pikachu uh, that I've done a couple. So, but in this case, we're pretty much going to be shaping a lot of uh, the skeletal structure with a uh, an exacto knife and maybe one of those um, those rubber things I was talking about. So, without further ado, 
uh, you guys might want to turn away in this case. Say your goodbyes to this beautiful little guy. Well, I wouldn't say goodbye, but just you're not going to see him the way he is uh, as now. So um, anyway, enjoy here. Um, I'm going to go to a different angle so you can see it. Oh, it's beautiful. Now it's likely I'm going to go ahead and I am going to, this is going to be very loud. So I'm probably going to give you some nice music to go along with this uh, torture porn. Uh, once again, sorry in advance. Now, this is very interesting. It actually seems as if the plastic is a little bit softer than your uh, typical um, Smash Brothers figure. So I am getting a lot of melting as uh, where normally I wouldn't. Also, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to cut away this guy's mustache. and then There's going to be some detail parts that you're going to want to do um, with a knife that you really kind of shouldn't do with a Dremel. Uh, as always, be careful. Uh, I don't always uh, show the greatest examples of cutting things, uh, but when you want to cut something, the uh, best thing to do is probably cut away from your skin. Uh, I tend to do a little bit of a rocking motion when I go to my cutting, so. Uh, a lot of the details I've uh, made before when it comes to, like, say, Kirby, uh, have done been done with a, an X-Acto knife and, you know, cutting into, like, these little left and right angles uh, to create kind of, like, this wrinkled skin look. So, um, the good thing about some of these zombie mods is that it's hard to make a mistake unless you really, really mess up. Because you can always kind of cover it um, with a little blood and a little damage. So, so how many of you guys are wanting to send me tons of salt shakers right now? I'm not doing this for the hate, just to let you guys know. I mean, I am a big collector. I do have a unopened box set, all North American. And I have a um, open set that I like to use for playing this poor guy's face right now, just to let you know. And there it goes. So, um, these Amiibo, they're, just, uh, they're a little bit softer, like I already made mention, it's kind of odd. And he is not full of chocolate as uh, some of you guys might have asked or might have uh, questioned. So he is not a chocolate figure. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, I tend to go a little bit further into the plastic. Usually it's most figures that I've played around with a little hollow on the inside. So um, once again, there's some uh, beautiful music for you so you don't have to listen to this uh, the screams of Mario.
I know that's probably very difficult to look at. Once again, I'm sorry, but um, it's for uh, it's for the fun of the thing. Uh, one thing I do recommend that you guys have is a um, is a vacuum cleaner, um, something portable because dribbling into this plastic does make quite a mess. Another interesting fact: the figure is not hollow on the inside. He took quite a quite a bit of abuse. So. Um, and it seems that I've scratched up his arm a little bit, so I'm going to have to do a little something with that as well. So, I am going to continue the rest, and uh, I will uh, cut the video off here so you don't have to see and witness any more of this torture. Okay, guys, so I got done dremeling. Uh, one of the things I want to let you guys know, just for... Um, for sakes of handling your figure itself, the paint on this guy, he, it's, it's, it's very weak and it doesn't go very far back. So um, I can definitely see that this figure um, with a lot of, what a lot of touching and use is going to be, um, the gold's gonna wear away a lot in some of these. So um, if you are brave enough to even have taken your figure out of the package, uh, handle it with care because um, it's uh, I don't know if it's just the Mario Party figures or uh, if it's this particular figure itself but it's just uh, it seems to be made a little bit uh, weaker um, so I'm sorry for using probably the wrong words anyway um, so I have um, dremeled out the chest I'm going to do a nice little bit of a a ribs area there. Like I said, it's going to be as if the um, metal has been broken off around the face and the chest. And here's the area that I I don't I, I don't remember scratching this, but I'm going to do a little bit something in the arm there. So um, I'm going to use a exacto knife. Do your best to clean out the area on the inside. You really don't want it to be messy when you put that clay in. Um, what I also do, uh, and I've cleaned it out already pretty, quite a bit, um, I'm going to use the knife to kind of create like these cracks, simulated cracks in the figure's uh, stomach area. So. And and I'm really hoping that the paint that I have matches up with the paint that's on this figure because if not, what would have been the point to begin with? Uh, if it doesn't look like Gold Mario, you know. The biggest problem when it comes to uh, painting some of these figures, if you want to match up that color, um, and if you just can't quite get it, you have to paint the entire figure. And the biggest issue I can see right now with this Gold Mario is that around the eyes, it's um, more of a bronzish color. So if I messed up anything, it's going to look two-tone, not not the result that I'm going to want, want here. So I'm going to continue to go ahead and making these uh, cracks in the uh, chest. And uh, that won't be too bad, but any mistakes that I've done, I'm pretty much going to have to cover up with blood because I don't think I'm going to have a gold that matches this. I've done a couple supersonics and um, the gold that I have is an airbrush uh, airbrush paint which seems to work really really well the biggest problem is that it requires a ton of coats um, because it's very light but it dries with such a smooth finish almost very similar to this so um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this a little bit get right back Okay guys, I'm going to kind of consider this one done when it comes along the lines of uh, cutting into it. A lot of the detail is usually into the paint anyway, so <clears throat> I'm going to show you what I've done. Um, I have, and I, and this is the iPhone for you, and I really love the quality of the iPhone, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I have um, made some cuts and what I kind of do is I kind of try cut at an angle with two sides 
so you can kind of get this um, this cracked look and it gives it a little bit more depth when you're doing a lot of my zombie mods um, do this uh, Kirby like I said I made mention before even um, Luma from Rosalina Rosalina and Luma um, I've done that too for the mouth um, do a little bit of that around the face it's really hard uh, with one of these um, with one of these blades to because there's so many curves and you want to get that nice cracked look but it um it's not always that easy so you can always go into certain angles that is the current blurry look let me see if I move it out of my out of the way it helps any probably not anyway so uh, now it's going to come down to the mixing of the uh, stuff. So, like I said, I use Milliput, and when you um, Milliput, M I L L I P U T, it's a molding compound. I usually get it at um, Hobby Lobby. I haven't found it at Michaels, and I haven't found it at uh, AC More. Those are my two main. Um, Places that other places that I go besides Hobby Lobby. So um, great stuff. I, I, I don't. I can't. It's 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 on the cheap. It's. I know a lot of people said they've used uh, this product called Green Stuff. I haven't touched it yet. It seems quite expensive for the amount that they give you. And Villafoot, they give you two large portions here. Uh, which is far, it seems at least far more than what looks like in that um, green stuff. I also have another stuff that I use um, that I've picked up at a um, at a hobby shop. It's actually uh, more like one of those hobby shops that have uh, like the, you know, the the card games, like Magic the Gathering. Uh, not your traditional model shop, we'll say. Uh, but the uh, there was this gray stuff that seemed uh, very similar to green stuff, cheaper. The biggest problem with that stuff, let me see if I can pull it out of my little tackle box of stuff here. Uh, the biggest problem with this stuff is that um, it dries in a in a more of a rubbery compound, as whereas the Milliput it dries uh, a lot firmer. This stuff is nice. It takes a little bit longer to dry. Same same concept. You mix the two together, uh, but it still has a, a lot of flexibility to it. Uh, this is the stuff I use uh, for a recent mod uh, for the Symbiote uh, Pikachu. And the biggest uh, issue I had with that is I actually had to keep reposing the uh, tendrils or tentacles on the figure until it got firm enough to look like it was posed properly. So, what you want to do here is get equal parts, and don't use too much. I mean, even though you get a nice 40% uh, off coupon at times over at uh, Hobby Lobby, you still want to be wasteful of your stuff. So you want to make sure that, and I'm probably putting too much together here, um, don't use too, too much, unless you have something that you want to use afterwards. This stuff does dry somewhat quick. So you want to make sure that they're firmly blended together. Uh, and you're going to have a, um, it's going to feel very sticky at first after it's blended. Um, that starts to firm up after a little bit while, and uh, it actually becomes a little bit more shapeable. But uh, what you're going to want to do is, in, in the case of this Mario here, you're going to want to have to um, fill in a lot of the areas that were uh, <sighs> removed. So give me a few here. I'm going to go ahead and blend it up. Once again, if you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to go ahead and answer them. If you have any hate towards me for going into a gold Mario, you know, there's not much I can do about it. It is what it is. This is the kind of stuff that I enjoy doing. Um, sometimes it's hit, sometimes it's miss. Uh, you guys didn't like the Jason Voorhees Villager mod. Some of you really liked it. Reddit... I I posted actually, and I did a repost. Forgive me for reposting, but it was on Friday the thirteenth, and both times there wasn't a lot on the uh, a lot on the upvotes there. So uh, you guys do have a distaste for uh, mods on these rare figures, but free range for pretty much anything that's common. Um, but it's fun to do these. So it's a toy, guys. You know, I, I understand you guys are collectors. I'm a collector. 
um, but there's um, just artistic love that you guys got to appreciate and stop using that download button for no reason whatsoever it's just because you guys disagree doesn't necessarily mean it's to be used anyway uh, the downvote is not a disagree button so what you're going to want to do is uh, use a nice amount so what you're going to do is you're going to fill up some of the space in these holes but not enough to go flush with the skin because you want the reason you dremeled into this is because the reason I dremeled into this is because I wanted to create a depth um, that uh, depth of the uh, figure in there so if you uh, use too much you can always take it out it's clay you want to kind of try and get it up to the edges as much as possible sorry I'm not the this is my first video please forgive me um, and you're going to try and create an effect with your knife or whatever uh, that you're using and get it to look as close as possible. In this case, it's going to be a rib cage, and the the blades or your shaping tools are going to be uh, a good part of this. And this is what I do when I do my zombie mods: is I fill it up, and I'll actually kind of make the rib cage, or I'll make the brains, and I'll use my tools to uh, to shape it. The most difficult part is going to be the face, so uh, that's going to require a little bit of imagination of what the underneath might look like of Mario's skull. Um, you don't have to be a forensic scientist to put it together. But, I mean, if, if something looks like it's bulging out, obviously there's a cheekbone there or another bone, or just a little bit of fatty tissue, you use your imagination. It's not too hard. Um, be uh, Try to be as detailed as possible. I mean, you know, a, detail, a little bit of detail goes a long way with some of these. Um, but it's, a uh, why am I a clumsy person? Glad my, uh, skin wasn't in the way of that. Be careful. Always wear protection. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and play with this. That's what she said. And, uh, I will show you the results afterwards. Okay, so it looks like the shaping is pretty much done here, and I will go ahead and review. Now it's going to take a little while for it to dry, um, so painting won't in be instantly available when you uh, do one of these. But you want to be patient. You want to kind of try and let it dry overnight, or at least you know until it's until the extra stuff that you have is pretty much uh, impossible to shape. Uh, at that point, you're pretty much free reign if you want to go ahead and, and paint it. But I do recommend, uh, if you have the time, to let it dry overnight because um, that's uh, so much, so much better to have uh, you know, a completely dried product before you go ahead and uh, go on with the rest of it. Anyway, so to reveal the uh, the beauty of this, and I'll I'll go ahead and post pictures. But what I went ahead and tried to do was um, I tried to recreate a structure of bone. You don't have to be super detailed with these. You want to kind of, as gross as it sounds, make it a little bit meaty looking. Um, so I uh, try to simulate a little bit of a depth for teeth. Um, I do like end up. I like, I like making rib sets, uh, rib cages. So, and what I might end up doing with the spare pieces, and maybe putting a little bit of a, a couple chips of the gold as if it fell off from his face there. Um, you have to be kind of a little bit sick and twisted to do one of these mods. Uh, don't worry, I'm not some kind of weird serial killer or anything like that. Um, but uh, I, I've been inspired by horror movies. So um, it, it's fun uh, to use my imagination for some of this. And, and uh, I, I, I know I have a lot of fans out there, and I know I have a lot of people who would rather punch me right now and just take this thing and save it. It is what it is. But um, I'm really hoping that you guys enjoy the video. Um, guys, uh, like, subscribe, whatever we got to do here. I'm going to have a bunch of little links somewhere in this video. Um, so uh, I'm 
Thank you for bearing with me for this. I will go ahead and post up the final pictures so you guys can see, but I wanted to kind of just give you a little bit of, um, of a look into uh, this sick, twisted world of Zonibo. Um, I will be also working on a clicker toad, as well as a toad. Um, you guys, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, the peach Zonibo that I did, but I had one where she was chewing on the back of his head. I think I'm going to go ahead and do something of an aftermath on that one where he's going to be missing half his body, maybe dragging on the floor down here. I'm not quite sure yet. But half his skull will be eaten just as if it was uh, something from the aftermath of the Zamibo. Um Look forward to a lot more uh, videos that I'll probably end up be doing for you guys. Um, I have quite a few other little tips and tidbits that I uh, want to go ahead and share with you, including uh, reshaping figures, uh, painting techniques. But if you guys have any particular questions, uh, maybe about something that you've seen that I've done, uh, please feel free uh, to go ahead and ask. Uh, if you want to send your hate my way, I guess you're entitled to do so. Heck, you can uh, do one of those petition type things and send a bunch of salt shakers to my address and anchor because it's not right to do. Anyway, um, so thank you guys for bearing with me. Um, I will have this available for you guys to see very, very soon. And um, try not to downvote me into oblivion, please. Take care, guys. Thank you.